Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 57 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. I think Bo knows whenever I'm doing a video because he always wants to come be in it. But he's just down here today, so we're good. Uh, we are here for a Goodwill mystery unboxing this was the denim box and i bought two of them at the same time so they came together um i think it's 10 to 12 what they say you'll get in each box and they're really inexpensive i have already undone the box actually my grandson helped me with that because he helped me carry in the box he's five and this box was heavy but he was he's one tough little boy so let's see it is yes it is the mixed jeans box it cost me uh, $19.99 each so $39.98 shipping was five dollars each ten dollars and the uh, tax was $4.63 so I'm all in for $54.61 so it does say 10 to 12 so hopefully we got the 12 or we got 10 really good ones okay here we go okay the top one is a pair of Levi's. These are colored um, jeans. They are, they're bigger. They are a size 16 medium. They, let's see, how's the puckering? Puckering's pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of puck. I'm sorry, I got it off camera and you can't see. Uh, there's a little bit of puckering. I think the larger sizes, it happens more often, but sometimes the small sizes get it because people who are a size 10 try to fit into a size four. It ain't gonna happen. Okay, so that's pair number one. I'll sell them. I don't know how much I'll make. They're not, you know, one of the higher lines of um, Levi's, but they're still Levi's. They'll sell. Okay, the next item is a skirt. And this skirt is by Reba. Okay. Um, this is, it's got some cute little, little studs down at the bottom. Real cute. I'll do this. And when I put it in there, I'll put, you know, a long midi skirt. I'll also put um, modest in my title because a lot of people who, uh, who belong to certain religions uh, only wear skirts and stuff and they want to be modest. So. Oh, well, lots of people just want to be modest, so it doesn't have to do necessarily with religion. Okay, so that was two. Number three is a pair of Lucky Brand jeans, and they look good as far as the puckering. They do look to be a low rise. If I look at the name of them, it probably says, uh, it says Sweet Boot, but I believe they are low rise, but they're a nice, they're, um, you know, a boot cut. So, I know the skinnies aren't doing as well, but, you know, who knows? People like skinnies. Yeah, I'm I'm a pretty big person, but I like skinnies. My legs are pretty. <laughs> Just knocked it off there. I don't can't believe I said that. Okay. The next item is a pair of Banana Republic Factory uh, skinny fit uh, pants in a size 25, which is a zero. Uh, look good. They look, I mean... They weren't worn much. Probably somebody got, you know, the wrong size or something. Put them on, maybe wore them once and determined that wasn't good. Okay, so what do we got? Four now? Okay. Uh, this is a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Okay. Um, in YDJ, you see. And that is the newer of the labels. The, um, the other label... Uh, it spells it out, but this just has the NYDJ. Nice pair of black jeans. They are a smaller size, a size two, but they look to be in good shape. If y'all ever notice anything when I'm showing you these items and you notice a flaw or you notice a stain that I didn't see, please let me know because sometimes I still don't see them until I get them photographed and then I'm mad because at myself because I didn't find it to start off with. Okay, the next is a new with tags. Buffalo by David Britton. This is a larger size. It is a size 14. Um, but, like I said, new with tags. I will take a new with tags every. And it says it's uh, Echo Vera. I don't know. I'll take a new with tags 
any day of the week. Okay, I lost count. I'll count them at the end. Okay, the next item is just a Forever 21, but it's a cute little denim uh, romper. Um, it's real cute. It, you know, you could really make this cute. I can imagine this with a cute little, maybe rustic top underneath it and some Doc Martin boots. I think that'd be cute. Okay, here we go. I've got to pick it up. The next is a pair of, oh, not a pair, a skirt by Kendall and Kylie, and it is a paper bag skirt. That's this up here, this top part. This does fold over, but it is really cute. Button fly, that's cute. It is a size 29. If you ever see anything on in my videos that you'd be interested in, shoot me a, a, a note on the comments or shoot me an email at my email address. It'll be in the description. But, you know, just let me know. I'd much rather sell to y'all. I just like selling. Okay, the next is another pair of Lucky Brand jeans. And these are a 18... Is that right? 18 relaxed fit. Okay. Uh, you know, they do have some discoloration at the knees. They look more like a man's. Maybe I'm just, oh, I don't know what I was seeing. Oh, it's a 181 relaxed straight. These are men's. They are a 32, 34. So that's why I was thinking, they look like men's. You know, sometimes I can't tell, but you can always stick your hand in the pocket. See, stick your hand in the pocket. And if it goes away, you know, and you really can't make up your mind, then it's probably a man's. Okay. The next item is a re royalty. Want a better butt? Want a better butt? And these are a pair of shorts. The season is pretty well gone, but I'm going to go ahead and list them because this might be somebody's favorite pair of shorts. And they are a size six. Okay, this is a pair. I, I'm getting some good sizes. That's one thing. This is a pair of Levi's Distressed Boyfriend Jeans in a 20W. So great sizes, great sizes. Uh, I've only got a couple that were itty bitty. Most of them have been pretty good size. Okay, here's a pair of white pants by, by Blue Savvy. I'm not familiar with this brand. I love, one of the reasons I like mystery boxes is because I get to uh, find brands that I need to be on the lookout for. Sometimes they're just, you know, a brand that I never mind, you know, but... I don't see a size on this, but I'll keep looking. I, I don't know anything about them. So. Okay. This is, now this is the older label of Not Your Daughter's Jeans, but they're in very nice condition. They are a size two and they are the Maryland Straight. Don't you love when they give you the style name you know, it's great just getting the style number, but when they go ahead and give you the style name, that makes it even better. Still got several left in here. Okay, the next, apparently this was Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Okay, again, this is an older pair, maybe the same owner. It's a, some, they have cut them off. I, I can pretty well tell that this is not um, factory cut, but, they, um, either they cut them off to make ankle jeans, which is what I figure, or they cut them off because they were too long. But, you know, I think that they'll make cute little ankle jeans. Oh, and they were a size, let's see, sorry. I think I showed you, but size four. Okay. Okay, this is a pair of seven for all mankind the uh, Carson 
uh, jean, and they are a size 32. Let's check and see, men's or women's? Hmm, it's kind of in between. What do you think? I don't know. It only goes a little bit away. I'm gonna do this, this not your daughter's jeans to see about it. Well, I don't know about these. I have to do, see what Carson the brand is, but they look like they might fit me. In men's or women's, whichever way, I think I'll try them on. I like them, they would look cute with some boots, some cowboy boots or some utility boots, something along those lines. Okay, the next item is a pair of American Eagle jeans and a super extreme stretch and they are a 3232. American Eagle jeans. And these go down, these are men's, because my hand did go down a ways. That's why I'm thinking maybe this other pair um, that I just went over, probably is men's, I don't know. Do you ever, it's pretty wild to me how they have so much men's clothing. And people, Third Hub didn't sell men's. Quit sending it in. You know, I don't know if you're just trying to get it out, but there's probably a much more worthy, uh, charity out there that would love your donation. So quit sending men's clothing there. They take kids, just not men's. Okay, my next item is a pair of Joe's jeans. Uh, well, these are long. I mean, like super long. Uh, they are a 32. Stick my hand in there. No, nope, those are women's. Um, but I mean, they are like really, really long. They're in great shape, but you know, I think they'd even be way too long for if I had more cowboy boots with them. Right size, just maybe the wrong length, right waist size. Okay, we are getting closer, but there's still quite a few. Uh, this next item is also a Buffalo David Britain. Uh, here's the back patch. And I believe it is men's, I think, based on the pocket. I can't believe I'm getting so many men's jeans, uh, which I don't, I sell everything. So I'm sorry I'm looking for the size and just not size. Okay, it says this is 3430. So it might, I mean, they look like men's to me. Yeah, I believe they are. And those may be going to my son. Uh, he wears a 34, 31, or 30, somewhere in there. But they may be going to him. Nice looking jeans. Next pair of jeans, or denim, is a not your daughter's jeans. Um, and a boot cut. Let's see. And they are the Barbara boot cut. Hmm. If I'd have read it, I'd have known that. In a size 6. It is harder for me to sell. Black's easier than any of the other colors of denim, but you know, blue by far is much better seller, but uh, you know, I can sell the black, but blue sells better. Okay, I think we're down to the last three or four. This one is a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. Y'all, I am very pleased with this. You know, I paid 50, almost $55 I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. This is a pair of Lucky Brand and a 32-32. You know, I like selling men's clothing. So I don't have any problem. I know a lot of people don't sell the men's clothing. So if they were getting this box, it probably wouldn't be the greatest box for them. But because, you know, I sell a little bit of everything. Hey, give it to me. I'll try to sell it. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how this ended up in here. But... I'm sorry. Lauren Conrad. And I believe Lauren Conrad is Coles. It's a nice pair of pants. I mean, I'm happy that it's in here. But, you know, it's reasonably $44. But Coles marks up their stuff so they can put it on sale for 30 to 40% off. So, you know, I'll probably ask like $20 for that. I'm not sure what the comps are. But with a new pair, you know, maybe I can get 15 to 20 somewhere in there. Next pair of jeans is a, and I don't know how to say this. Y'all are going to have to help me. Joseph Abowd or a 
Bode or Abu. I'm not sure. Let me know. And I, I will try to remember to Google it and get the pronunciation, but it'd be great if y'all could help me out. This is the Slim Fit um, 3232. Again, if you don't sell men's clothing and you got your, this box, you are probably not very happy. Not very happy at all. But I am tickled to death. It is a great box. Okay. The next, never heard of this. The next pair of jeans is Femme Louis Lux. Femme Lux. It's a size 8. Seems to be kind of a small 8. But a um, black stonewash color, maybe. Um, I don't know. They, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. I can't even make, they don't feel bad. They don't feel like itchy denim or anything like that. Uh, they don't feel like designer, but then again, I have been known to be wrong once or twice or 14 times. Okay, and the last pair of denim in this box is a pair of American Eagle low-rise boot cut men's jeans. Great distressing. I've got to get these listed. You know, I was a little leery. I got a wonderful denim box back six months ago, and I didn't order any more because I knew they'd be mainly jeans, and I had so much stuff to get listed that I didn't really have time to um, list jeans, or and since they weren't selling as much as they would come fall. And it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. It was a thread up denim box. Um, I have not, I, I got the, um, sorry, I got a denim box from Goodwill. Loved it. So that's why I thought, if I, I'm gonna try to get two. And I'm glad I did, because that was a pretty wonderful box. So let's count them out real quick. Uh, one. Two, three, I could be showing you, couldn't I? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, oops, I'm sorry, 21, 22, 23, 24 pair, okay? So each one is about, what that's about, two and a half, two, two thirty something, something like that. Um, so I'm very pleased, you know, unless a couple of those brands that I wasn't familiar with are just bust, you know, I should be able to sell all of these. And, you know, if I make, say I make $10, I sell them all for $10. That's why I sell them, you know, that's without shipping. So I sell them all for $10. Well, I just made $240 off of a 50, okay, $55 investment. Even if I sell, let's say I sell four of them for 15 well, I've now covered the cost of the box. So, I haven't decided yet. You'll find it. You're going to find out because I'm fixing to continue on. And I'll put something up there to let you know. Or I'm going to do a part two. But I also got a Goodwill, a Goodwill um, denim box. And the price for that is about the same. It's like 65 something. Somewhere around that. Because um, I believe. It may be, it may be more than that. It may be 70 something, but I will know that whenever I open the box. I haven't opened the box. My grandson did not help me with that box and it's on the front porch and it's too heavy for me to bring in. So I got to go get my dolly and get it in. What do you think guys? How do you think I did? Let me know what your, what's your favorite jeans to source. If you, if you sell jeans, what kind of jeans do you like to sell most in your area? These are all, except for the ones I don't know, I know that all of these can be found in my area, which makes it even cooler, I guess. I like to find things that aren't necessarily in my area, but it's good to find that good old hometown bread and butter. We are here for a thread up 
denim rescue box, okay? So the cost was $60, and I believe I got all the, this one I had uh, credits and stuff from things I'd sold there on ThreadUp in the past. Okay, trying to get the, I already opened it, y'all know, I'm the world's worst box opener, so I go ahead and open them ahead of time, and I should have probably gone ahead and put, put the flaps down, but I didn't. And the box came, <laughs> the box came rather bent, but you know, it's just dim. It's not, it's not like it's hard goods. Okay. So the last time I got a 50 pound denim box, it was really good. I had 10 pair of jeans that I did not list. Um, of those, eight of those jeans were donated and two were thrown away. Um, and it was because, I think every one of them was because of the puckering in the crotch area. So that's something you need to make sure you check out and look at because like Paige jeans, I mean, I had two or three pairs and I think I was able to keep one of them, but the rest of them had such bad puckering, I didn't keep them. So watch the puckering in the crotch area. Okay, let's get going. This is a denim box. Uh, I think I've already said that. This is a pair of Mosimo denim jeggings in a size 10, real cute. The hem is great and always in style. There is some puckering, like I said. There is some puckering. I don't know what I'll do because most of those not gonna sell for a lot anyway. I don't know, I might wash them and see if it's like, sometimes they get that way when they've been in a box too long too. Sorry, I keep pulling up my shirt because it keeps going up on me. <laughs> This is a bit, uh, thrifted shirt. It's blessed girl. It looks a little fallish. It's 91 degrees in Arkansas. You should always wear a long sleeve shirt on those days. Yesterday, I wore a turtleneck. <laughs> okay, the next is a J. Crew jeans, and I guess this is a line of J. Crew. Real cute. Um, I don't see any puckering, so this is a definite. It is a size 27 petite which those are a little more difficult, um, but they're in very nice shape. So, so we're doing good. We got one definite. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of American Eagle Super X, Super, I'm sorry, Stretch Times Four. Okay, uh, good. Sometimes American Eagle can get puckered in the crotch, but these look really good and they are small size. Let's see if I can find out what size they are. They're a super high rise jegging. Do you find that American Eagle, they'll say super high rise jegging. And then when I go to list something that the inseam is not high rise, I don't really ever know what to do. Um, I don't know. What do y'all do when that happens? They are a size eight, so they're not super small. No, they're not super small. So I'm happy so far. Two definites, one maybe. Okay, this is a pair of American Eagle jeans. Okay, and they are a 32-30. I thought they were probably men's, but let me check the pocket. Always check the pocket. Okay, the pocket is pretty deep, so these are men's. They're kind of a, um, uh, I don't know. They're not the uh, black, the grayish color that really is a washed black. These look like they have had some fading, but I'll just disclose that. So that's another good one. Okay. These are seven for all mankind. Uh, you know, cute jeans, but these don't go for a lot. They are a size 31. So they won't fit me. Sometimes I try to do that. I'll still list them. I mean, even if I just get $10, $10. Okay. Okay, the next is a pair of Mosimo high-rise high midi shorts. Um, look to be good. You know, so far, the uh, seven jeans I'll probably list for 15 and hope to get 12. The black American Eagle jeans, um, that were faded. I'll probably list for 16 and hope to get 12. 
Uh, like I said, they were pretty faded. Uh, let's see what the other ones were. The, I should have told you this one we're going, I forget. Um, the American Eagle regular jeans, probably list for 20. And the uh, J. Crew jeans, the black ones that are in good shape, I'll probably also list those for 20. And then the shorts, why didn't I tell you that when we just did them? But I'll probably list these for 12. Okay. The next item is, I don't know. I don't know if it's vintage or just boutique. It's California Gold Rush is the label. It's small. Uh, let's see if there are any labels on it. It's cute. Um, when they say denim, it can be denim anything. It doesn't have to be um, shorts and pants. It can be anything. Chambray, this is chambray, which is a lighter denim. Um, but I don't know about that one. I mean, I'll list it if, it, if it's gonna bring me much of anything. Okay, the next is a pair of Old Navy jeans. And they, I guess, I think these are capris or ankle, they may just be cropped because they don't look real short. They are a 14. Uh, let's see if it, they, Old Navy's usually pretty good about giving you some more information, but I don't see any, uh, but those are cute. Little capris. Uh, probably list those for 16, 18, somewhere in there. American Eagle must make a fortune. Now, these are really cool distress jeans. They are the American Eagle Super Stretch. Look good in the crotch. Great distressing. Um, they are skinny jeans, and they are a size 6. Uh, list the, I'll list them for probably 20. And when I say I'm listing them for 20, that generally means I'm listing them for 1995. Um, that's where I do my price point. And if I make an offer, it's anything but 95. That way I know that it's an offer. So if somebody on a 1995 uh, pair of jeans offers me 12 and I counter back with 1596, well, I know that it's an offer. So I can quickly look at that because sometimes the phone doesn't always give you the greatest information. Okay, these are a pair of J. Crew toothpick jeans. Um, cute jeans, but colored jeans don't usually sell, but maybe this will be the exception. And when we get done with this, I will put them in ranks. One, get done right now. These are worth something. Two, hey, these are worth something, but you can wait till you get some other stuff and get it listed. Three, list it when you have an opportunity. Okay, so those are kind of how I divide things out. Okay, real pair, a cute pair of paper bag jeans by Pac Sun. I'm thinking these are vintage, but I may be wrong. They are a probably not because they're calling themselves a mom jean. So they are a 24 mom jean, but cute. I don't know about the pack sun. I'll try to remember both this colored J. Crew and this to put to tell you what I would what sold comps on. Okay. The next pair of jeans is a pair of Lucky Brand, and they are size six and they are the ankle cheville. Yeah, ankle cheville. They do have some puckering some here in the crotch but i think these are sellable um and like i said they're a size six okay this next pair of jeans uh is a pair of lee jeans shorts these look like kids and i'm pretty sure they are um they're just really skinny and then, you know they're cute as can be but i don't see them being women's but you know what? Depending on what they're worth, then I I may off may uh, list them. I don't always list kids' clothes. If it's something special, I will. But I just do a lot of donating to families I know that need them. Okay. So the next pair of jeans denim is a pair is a Nobo uh, high rise skinny and no. This has got way, way, way too much puckering. Um, I'll donate them. I don't know that they're worth a whole lot, but uh, 
maybe somebody, I don't know. I, I'll have to think about that because I hate to give somebody else my, my goofs. Um, you know, if I have, if it's something easy that people can repair, that's one thing. But if I'm giving them something like this that there's no way to repair, then I have to think, would I want somebody to give that to me? Okay, the next pair is a pair of Old Navy Rockstar in a size, it's the built-in sculpt, and they are a size 12 tall. Okay, I have no hips, okay? I have always been built like a boy. Um, these have a little bit of hips, but I think I'm going to have to try them on. I have, I think I'm going to have to try them on. If if I, if I, they don't work for me, I'll probably list them for like 18, somewhere right there. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Seven for All Mankind, and it is a 31, and the style, it gives you the style. I like, do like that they give you the style numbers and stuff. Let's see how they, it is on our puckering. A little bit of puckering. I'm sorry. A little bit of puckering. Not bad. So, probably list these for 16 to 20 somewhere in there okay the next pair of jeans is the limited and it is the high-rise jegging okay I hope high-rise is in because I've gotten quite a bit of it in uh, this box and the uh, Goodwill blue box okay I'll probably list those look pretty good. I'll probably list them for twenty nineteen ninety five. Okay. The next pair of jeans is a pair of Old Navy, and they are. Let's see if they says what they are. A lot of times, you know, the brands will put them in the waistband. They'll stitch them in there, but it is a size eight petite. But they're cute. They're just distressed. Real cute jeans. Probably list these for 17, 18, somewhere in there. I keep saying somewhere in there because, you know, honestly, sometimes it just clicks on what I should list it for. Sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad. Okay, got a pair of page jeans, a pair of black. There is puckering. I told you before there would be puckering. <sighs> and you know, this is a size 26. So, really. What well, was the girl who owned these? Did she have a belly? I don't think so. I think the page needs to work on their pucker and in their crotch area. I don't know what I'll do with them. I might list them for 16 to get rid of them and make sure I point it out, draw arrows, whatever, that there is puckering. Of course, people that buy page jeans probably know that. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Denim is a pair of makers of true originals. It is an 18. Um, there is some puckering. I don't know anything about that brand, so I'll be putting it over there and you can find out with me <laughs> uh, if it's worth anything. It's kind of a lightweight material. So I don't really know. Okay, this is, I have never heard of this brand, but, B-U-T-T, I still, oh, but I love you, wax jeans. They are white. This would have been great, you know, and that's not, yeah, I thought maybe it was an ink mark, but no. Um, this would have been great, and I may put this in a box to list, but I will keep it, because I don't know what these are worth, so I'm going to put it right there so that I remember to tell you what it's worth. Okay, the next is a chambray top by Cloth and Stone. Oh, it's not a top, it's a dress. Oh my gosh, I love this bottom. Oh, isn't that cute? Isn't that perfect for the fall? I need, that's in my list right now. Okay, so it's a medium, but really cute. Love, love the hem. Um, I have no idea. It'll go there. Okay, the next pair of jeans, I don't know if these are vintage or, you know, around Y2K, but they are a pair of Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. We generally can find them, but there is puckering, so I may just re-donate them. Being white, do I really want to keep up with white? 
it's not going to bring me a lot of money. So that'll probably be a redo date. I mean, that's not there's not any problem there as far as somebody could wear that. It wasn't bad, but you know, not going to get much. Okay, this is a Gap skirt in a size 16. It's a mini skirt. I believe this is vintage. If, if you know if it's vintage or not, let me know. But I believe that's vintage. Gap's been around a long time. Um, so I'll probably list this one for 20. Okay, the next pair of shorts is almost famous. And this is definitely what you would call booty shorts. And they are a size 7. I know that they're not worth much, but I still may list them for 12. I don't know. What do you think? Should I just donate them? I'm not sure. Uh, also, we have another pair of shorts. Cute. It's got the little lace on the hem, and these are the super stretch. You see the little lace. Oh, they're the lace pockets. That's right. Lace pockets. I had a bigger pair of these, and they sold really quick. Um, they're the high rise shorty. So cute, cute pair of shorts. I mean, I know a lot of people wear shorts year round. Well, they live, they live in Florida. Why not? Okay. The next pair of shorts is by Cat and Jack and Cat and Jack is a target brand for little kids. Um, I'll probably keep that. I know of a family that probably donate that to, uh, so I'm gonna put that right over here. So I make sure to uh, to get that donated, get that to them. Okay, the next pair of denim is by City Streets. I don't know, they look okay, but they don't feel great. They're size nine, which means it's a junior's. They do have bling on the pocket. I don't know. I will check, probably a donate, but I will check. The next is a modern skinny crop by uh, Levi's, it's this, their signature line. Uh, cute pair of jeans, this is a size, let's see what size it's, I would guess a 16, but it's not jumping out at me, I'm sure it's right here. Don't you hate when that happens? Uh, I'll have to do a little more research, maybe a 14 or a 16, maybe a 14. Cute jeans, I may put that in that pile with that other one. Uh, if I do choose to list it, I list it for about 16. Isn't it amazing how many pairs of jeans that I have in this box? Okay, this is a pair of L white denim, okay? And they are uh, 99 cotton, 1% spandex, and they're a size six. Cute jeans. L doesn't bring a lot, but it, they do sell. So uh, that probably is going to go in that box. I just, what I do is about February, I know that you don't want to wait till after Easter, but about February, I will list, I make a stack like I'm pretty well done in listing shorts. So the shorts that are in this box, as well as the white jeans, I put in a tote and I keep accumulating. In February, I will list them all. Now, if I run out of stuff, which ain't ever going to happen because my death pile is bigger than me. Um, then I would go ahead and list it. But since I do have a death pile, then I'll put that and uh, make sure it gets listed about February. Okay, the next item is a, I don't know, what is that? DG2, anybody know? Let me show you what the label is. DG2. Um, it's a cute little, I like the rough hem down at the bottom. Or maybe it's not supposed to be rough. I don't know if it's supposed to be rough or not. But that's cute. Um, it's a size extra small, teeny weeny. It's a cute little jacket. I don't know anything about it, so I will look it up and let you know. I can see the bottom of the box now. That still means I probably have 10 more pair. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Madewell. I like selling Madewell, except for this has got terrible puckering okay that's going in the i don't know it doesn't matter oh, okay right here right here 
I was so disappointed. I was so excited that I got a pair of Madewell. Um, I like to get jeans that I don't often find around here. Okay, this is a pair of Banana Republic um, jeggings. Uh, let's see if they say what they are. They are the high-rise legging, um, but real, real cute. Probably list these for 20. You know, most of my jeans, I do list 20, um, somewhere around in there, somewhere. Uh, some go up to 20. I, you know, I have some listed for a lot more than that. Okay, and the next pair of denim, or next denim is this pair of Gap. Um, with some puckering, 28 real straight. Uh, I don't know. It's not bad puckering, so I'll probably list them for maybe 12 to 14. Okay. Now, this is a pair of Denizen uh, Modern Skinny Jeggings, I assume. Uh, real, they've got an elastic waist. Skinny legs, very small. They are a four, but I will sure get them listed because, you know, I guess it's because I price my denizen pretty reasonably. I mean, they sell, sell better than some of my brands, other brands. So I'll probably list that for about 16 to 18. Okay, the next pair of jeans is by Aeropostale and and they're good. You know, isn't it funny? Aeropostale is pretty inexpensive, but yet there's not much puckering on them, but I get a pair of Madewell, and they look terrible. These are a jegging, and they are a size six. So, I don't know. I'll probably list them for 12 to 14. Okay. The next pair of jeans, sorry, I was looking at them, is So Slimming by Chico's, and they are a size zero, which, I, is that a small or a medium? Maybe a medium, I'm not sure. But um, they're they're in great shape. I don't, the puckering, I don't see any puckering. I'll probably list these for 16. The next pair of jeans is a pair of DKNY jeans, and um, they are the Solo Lita. Okay, you see they're low rise. And there is some discoloration here on the back of this leg, so I'll disclose that. Probably list that for, with that discoloration, about 14. And I know these are not high end you know i was so excited about the madewell because usually i could sell a madewell pair of madewell jeans for 35 to 50 dollars i haven't had that many but when i've gotten them i've been able to sell them but that's why i was so disappointed i thought yay i've got something really nice to sell okay the next pair of jeans is johnny b okay i'm not familiar with johnny b they're a 24 regular they are a low rise um you know they're in good shape but i have no idea i've never heard of that brand so i'll put it over here so i can find out comps okay the next pair of uh next denim is a pair of free people shorts they are distressed button fly cute as could be definitely booty shorts these are a 25 Okay, another pair of Seven for All Mankind. I used to, this was the most comfortable pair of jeans I ever owned was a pair of Seven for All Mankind. But they're just not popular like they were before. These are a, what size are they? Let's see, they are a 28. Um, but again, it does give you the style number and everything. So that's, that's always good. Probably list these for 16. Another pair of American Eagle. These are the next level stretch. Um, they look pretty good in the crotch for um, their size four. Let's see what it's like. Okay, they are the high rise jegging. So cute pair of jeans for this fall for somebody light wash. 
Uh, somebody will like them. I'll probably list them for 20. <laughs> okay. It seems like I've heard somebody talk about this, but I don't know if it's good, bad, or ugly. Um, this brand is Reese, and it is a size 28, and it's a Drake. Um, it does have issues on the pockets, so if it is a real nice... But it looks like probably what happened was somebody got their pocket caught in it because the other pocket looks great and just pulled out. I have no idea what to list these for. They feel good. Um, heavyweight enough, but not just overwhelming. So that goes in the let you know. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a worldwide denim brand. Kind of an acid wash look. And they are a size medium. Um, I don't know. I like them, but I don't know what they're worth. So they'll go in this pot right here. Uh, the next pair of jeans, or next pair of denim, is very distressed. It is a pair of sheen. Women's. This is the first sheen that I've ever found. Y'all talk about it, it that it's fast fashion, um, and I understand that. Um, you know, I'm putting the button has its name on it, but it's not a very substantial button. But they really are cute, and they are. What did I tell you? A size? Did I tell you a size? Large, and they are major distressed. So definitely high rise. So. I'm going to have to look that up because I've never sold anything by Sheen. I've heard y'all speak of it, but I've never sold anything. Okay, I can see from here the next pair of shorts is pretty bad on puckering. They're a size 8. I probably will just donate these because they are Universal Thread, which is a Target brand. And I, and I sell. Whatever I can sell, I sell. It's just that um, that's... With the puckering, you know, it's not going to bring a whole lot. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Liverpool. And who was I listening to the other day? Oh, I I'll, 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 I can't think of the name, but I'll put it up there. And she was talking about uh, Liverpool jeans um, that I believe she said she liked them. Okay, I'm not even, I don't even know. Sorry, I may just be talking out of my head. These are skinny jeans. They look to be high rise. Really just nice black jeans. And black, you know, black sells better than all the other colors, but not so great. I don't know anything about these, so I will look them up and tell you. The next is a pair of shorts. These are Forever 21 in a size 24. Um, they're cute, but well, I don't know. I'll look them up. If they're, if they're worth anything you know for 21 isn't really expensive to start off with but uh you know it doesn't sometimes those do better than the more expensive white house black market nice pair of jeans and a size eight they are the skimmers just got a little bit of distress on the pocket and a little on the knees so you know this would get by at the school that i was at um we tried to discourage pockets up near the crotch. I mean, not pockets, but uh, cuts up near the crotch area. And the girls couldn't understand why. <sighs> okay. The next pair of denim shorts is by Celebrity Pink. And these are the sugar. And they're cute, cute denim. I'll have to figure out what size they are. I don't see a tag. Um, Celebrity Pink is not that expensive, but these are cute little shorts. Probably list for 12 to 14. Yes, I think we've got two or three after this. Okay, this is a pair of Universal Threads. These don't have the puckering. They're a smaller size, but I'm not sure. I'm... Okay, can you see the discoloration? Looks like somebody sat on something, but maybe not the best place to have discoloration. They're a size zero. I'll probably run them through the wash and see how they do. If I list them, I'll probably list them for 14. Okay. 
the next pair, and these aren't jeans, they're pants, are a pair of BDG, um, size 28, cute cargo, well, I don't know what they are. Kind of cargo-esque looking. If you know the style of these, let me know, okay? Kind of a moto look with that. I don't know. Let me know if you think it's moto, but it is a 20, size 28, and I don't know what I'll list those for. Okay, the next pair of jeans is, let's see, I was trying to read it. Jamaican rag, is that what it says? If it doesn't say Jamaican rag, let me know. Uh, they're the Jamaican rag skinny. Let me see if it says it here. Nope. Oh, American, American rag. Whew. And these are a size five for a junior size. Um, they look in good shape though, so I'll look them up and see what they'll go for. And the last pair of jeans is a pair of 550 relaxed fit. Let's see if these are men's or women's. These are men's uh, jeans and a 36 uh, 32 so if I get these if I find these out and they're two dollars or less I get them and I can tell you all of these things would be two dollars or less so I'm glad I got them I usually list them for 20 um, I don't my jeans I don't list for a ton of money I don't find the Everlane I don't find the Madewell that's why I was so excited but so I just list them um, to make money on how do you do your jeans? Do you find a lot of really nice high-end jeans? I hope so. <laughs> I wish I did, um, but I don't. So I'm going to uh, figure out how many pairs of jeans that I'm going to be keeping, how many I'm going to be donating, and I don't think I'm a, no, that one, I may throw that one pair in that way, made well pair, I don't know, they're made well. I probably should donate them. So I'm gonna let you know how many, so we'll break down the price of each and then I want you to tell me which box was better the Goodwill blue box that I did first or the thread up box that I just did and I said I'll put the price and please consider the price when you're telling me um, because that's important now with the Goodwill I know I got 24 is that right 22 24 pair of jeans and um, I think I was able to use most of them. So let me know when I put the price up there, you're gonna know how much these were. So thank you for watching this video. This is the longest by far video that I've ever done. But I wanted to do it in one video because I wanted to show you both sides um, of the denim rescue issues. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be, if you want to see more unboxing videos, hey, guess what? Shh. I've got two, yes, two designer boxes coming up. So you gotta, you gotta hit that subscribe. You gotta hit that subscribe. <laughs> and then if you uh, want to be notified when I put up those boxes, shh, then let me know. Uh, I'm sorry, that was wrong hit the bell. So my dog has decided he wants to get on the clothes. So I'm having to gently tell him no. Thank you for watching this video today. And thank you for sticking it out to the very end. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.